Hi there, this is Veronica. Today we're making a circle bag. You can get a template on Etsy from the link in the description below. And paste them onto your construction paper and make them into templates. This circle bag uh, has two pieces of front and back panel. And for the side, there's a upper part where the zipper goes and the lower part where the strap attachment goes. And for the zipper part, there's another attachment or stiffener which will strengthen the zipper. And also the front decoration, which is going to be a bow tie. The leather I'm using is vegetable tan leather. And before we're making the bag, I'm going to dye the leather first. I'm doing a shading leather dye method. So at the bottom, I already have royal blue, and those will be for the side. And for the two front circle round panels, I have the top part of the light blue, and the bottom with the royal blue. So the royal blue is a darker blue. So to do this, I first use the light blue the third part of the top, and the royal blue for the third part down below. And then brush the royal blue dye in the middle section while use this light blue brush over and repeat that till the color has the gradient effect. After dyeing, I apply a coat of leather conditioner and let it dry for overnight. And the next day, after the leather is completely dry, then I apply a layer of leather finisher to finish the dyeing process. And for the back and front panel, I decided to give it a starlight effect. So I basically mi mix together a white acrylic pen with the silver acrylic pen. Dab one brush with the pen while using the other one constantly smacking on the one with the pen on and complete the look. And next, I'm just going to cut out all the leather pieces. Moving on, we're going to make the bow tie for the front decoration. Uh, I already have this leather that's already dyed pink from the previous project and cut out the shape for the bow tie and I'm going to dye the back black and finish the back with the leather finish gum and use glass slicker to smooth it out. And also finish the edge. And fold the middle part, third in, and a third out, and a third in, if I make sense. Um, so I'm just Squeezing the middle of the bow tie 
to give it a fabric texture And I also have the strap cut out and dye the back and front black and also finish the edge. Now the bow tie is complete. And all the pieces were cut out. We'll do the zipper first. Use the stencil to cut out the stiffener. I'm going to use this fabric to make the liner for the back. Now first cut out a long strap to the length of the whole side, which including the zipper one and the bottom one. Also draw out the square where the zipper goes and cut a straight line right in the middle and a white shape on both ends. And glue the stiffener right where the square is. And flip the fabric over and attach it onto the stiffener. So there will be a ugly side and there will be a prettier side. The ugly side is going to be attached right onto the leather. And also cut out two circles for the back and front panel. Cut the zipper lines long enough for the upper side and I drew the guideline onto the zipper and also onto the leather. Pull the zipper head in and attach the zipper with the leather first. And next, before attach the fabric on top of the leather, uh, attach the side up first. And glue the stiffener onto the leather, but not the whole fabric. Next punch holes for all the leather pieces. I 
I should have slowed the zipper at first, but I forgot at this stage and I move on to sew the liner up. And before I attach the two sides together, I have these two D-ring attachment and sew it onto the bottom side first. When attaching the sides together, make sure the leather is not overlap on the edge. And here I finished the sewing for zipper and also sew the sides up together. Next, I attach the bow tie onto the front panel. And the best way I tried out to do is to have the strap that goes in the middle of the bow tie to run through the front panel and glue it up on the back. Next, I use water on the marge of the side leather piece. So it will be easier to attach to the front and back panel and it will also look nicer. So attach the front and back panel to the side, sew them up and finish the edge, then the back is all done. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please don't forget to subscribe and I'll be seeing you in the next one.